chapter 9 differential calculus limits and continuity exercise 9.1 textbook page number 96 page number 96 question number 7 in exercise problem 7 to 15 use the graph to find the limits if it exist if the limit doesn't exist explain why in the exercise problem 7 to 15 use the graph to find the limit if it exists suppose the limit doesn't exist explain why that meaning is give reason so first we do the question number 7 question number 7 So limit x tends to three, four minus x. Estimate the limit value of this question using graph. The graph is given below. The graph is given below. Here, the limit is x tends to three. X tends to three. Here, the portion of three is the portion of three is on x axis is here. This point is three. The portion of three is here. The two one zero minus one and minus two all are leftwards of three. All are leftwards of three. And four five and going all these points are rightwards of three. All these points are rightwards of three. Through this point three, th that meaning is. This leftwards meaning is so leftwards approaches three. This arrow mark represents rightwards approaches three. So through this three point three, through this three, draw a vertical line. So through the three, draw a vertical line. Through the point three, we can draw a vertical line. The vertical line meets a straight line. at a particular point that point is noted by p the point is noted by p through this point p we can draw a horizontal line through this point p horizontal line this horizontal line meets y axis at 1 this horizontal line meets y axis at 1 meets y axis at 1 Here, three. That meaning is when x is equal to three. When x is equal to three, the value of curve on y-axis is one. This point is noted by three comma one. Therefore, from the graph, we conclude that when x is equal to three, the value of the curve on y-axis is one. Therefore, limit of the given question is one. here so when x is equal to 3 when x is equal to 3 the value of the curve the value of the curve on y axis is 1 the value of the curve on y axis is 1 Therefore, limit x tends to three, four minus x is equal to one. Therefore, question number seven over. Therefore, question number seven is over. Therefore, question number seven is over. Now, question number eight. The question number eight. So estimate the limit value. Estimate limit x tends to one x square plus two. Estimate the value of the given question. Estimate the limit value of the given question using this graph. Using this graph. Here our limit is one. 
limit x tends to 1. Here the point 1 on x axis is this point. The point on x axis is this place, this is 1. So minus 0, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and going on leftwards. All these points are leftwards of plus 1. All these points are leftwards of plus 1. In same way, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, plus 5 and 6 and going. All these points are rightwards of plus 1. This noted by this arrow mark. This leftwards arrow mark represents leftwards approaches 1. This arrow mark represent rightwards approaches plus 1. So now through the point 1, through the point 1, we can draw a vertical line. We can draw a vertical line. That line meets the curve at particular point. And this point and through this point, we can draw a horizontal line. That line meets y axis at 3. y axis at 3. So y axis at 3. Now this point is noted by P. So coordinates of P is 1 comma 3. So this meaning is when x is equal to when x is equal to 1 the value of the curve on y axis is 3. Therefore we conclude that we conclude that when x is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1 the value of the curve the value of the curve on y axis is 3 therefore limit x tends to 1 x square plus 2 this value is equal to 3 therefore limit x tends to 1 x square plus 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, question number 8 is over. Question number 8 is over. Now, question number 9. Now, question number 9. Question number 9 is limit x tends to 2 f of x where f of x is equal to 4 minus x, x not equal to 2 and 0 x is equal to 2. Estimate value of the value of this function using the graph. The graph is given below. Using this graph we can find the limit of the given question. Here our limit is here our limit is x tends to 2, x tends to 2. The position of a 2 on x axis is here, this place. So all the points, all the points, so 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, the leftwards of 2, all these points are represent leftwards of 2. And 3, 4, 5, 6 and going, all these are right words of 2. This left word arrow mark represents left words approaches to this right word arrow mark represents right words approaches to. Now through the point 2 we can draw a horizontal line. We can draw a, we can draw a vertical line. So we can draw vertical line through this 2. This line meets a straight line at particular point. That point is noted as P. Now through this point draw a horizontal line. This line meets Y axis at 2. Meets Y axis at 2. Therefore the coordinate of P is 2 comma 2. 
2 comma 2 therefore we conclude that when x is equal to 2 the value of the curve on y axis is 2 so when x is equal to 2 the value of the curve on y axis is 2 therefore limit x tends to 2 f of x therefore limit x tends to f of x is equal to 2 therefore limit value of question number 9 is 2 the question number 9 is over question number 9 is over now question number 10 question number 10 So the question is limit x tends to 1 f of x where f of x is equal to x square plus 2 when x not equal to 1 f of x is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1 estimate the value of the limit limit value of given function f of x by using the graph the graph is given below here our limit is x tends to 1 x tends to 1 the position of 1 on x axis is here this place therefore 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 all these points are leftwards of 1 and 2 3 4 5 and so on all these points are rightwards of 1 this arrow mark represents leftwards approaches 1 and this arrow mark represents rightwards approaches 1 now through the point 1 now through the point 1 we can draw a we can draw a vertical line we can draw a vertical line that line meets a curve at particular point that point is sub p and through this point draw a horizontal line this line meets y axis at 3 meets y axis at 3 this meaning is when x is equal to 1 the value of the curve on y axis is 3 here the coordinate of p is 1 comma 3 therefore we conclude that we conclude that when x is equal to 1 the value of the curve on y axis is 3 therefore limit x tends to 1 f of x is equal to 3 Therefore, limit value of the question number 10 is 3. Therefore, question number 10 is over. Thank you.